Hi, welcome to another episode of Viking Veteran Artisan. So today what we're going to be printing is a hammerhead shark. This model I found on printables by the designer JD3D at JD3D. So I figured I'm going to do something just a little bit different and go through how to actually set it up and see something important instead of just me. So we're going to look at the screen. So the first thing that we're going to do is you have to load your filament. So on your knob, go over to filament, load filament. Select what kind of filament. So in our case, we're using Overture White. So it's a PLA. And the machine tells us what to do. So it says make sure that the filament is inserted through the sensor. Machine seat now. So I got my filament up top here. What we're going to do is we're going to come down right at the top, put our filament in. From here, you're going to see that it's on the sensor. Just click continue. And the machine will load the filament through. I like to hold it until I can feel it going into the drive gear. And then you just wait out for it to finish loading it through. During this time, feel free to contemplate the things in life that have led you to sitting in front of a 3D printer. And by the time you've had a couple thoughts of that, you should be almost done. So again, if you get a chance and you're still listening, I really recommend checking out uh, JD3D. He's got a lot of cool stuff. I've printed a bunch of stuff for him so far, uh, from him, sorry. And uh, yeah, the kids really like playing with uh, all the cool little 3D printed things and can't recommend them enough. All right, so you can see here, on the white, you don't really get too good a view of it, but it's not quite fully white. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna purge it a little bit more. So let's go over to purge more and select it. With some color that's not too bad, I find with the white, if you really want it to make sure it's really good white, you might have to purge it a couple of times. There we go, so that'll do. Alright, so now our printer is loaded, ready to go. Now head back. Now we're gonna go over to print. Oh, that'll be step two. All right, here we go, step two. Now we're gonna go into actual print. Except I don't get difficulties here. All right, so we're gonna go over to print. Bring us into our next file. So we're gonna go into it. And a little hard to see. You got your file name there. So in this case, hammerhead with all the information for your print. Now I'm going to try to time this. Watch. I'm going to hit that. It's going to show us what we need. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and print. And then the printer is going to come to life. So right now what it's doing is doing its adjustments. So now the bed is heating up. Ah. 
What's really cool about a lot of these displays is it gives you all the information right on your display. You can see that in the bottom middle, that's your bed temperature. Some other things you can see at while you're looking, you have print time, other information variable to what you're printing, how long you've been printing, and if you hook it up to the Prusa, Prusa, Prusa Connect, it's, uh, it's got a whole lot of other options that you can do from the app itself, control your prints, which I'm not there yet, but uh, maybe I'll explore it at a later date. So the bed's almost heated up. Right, here we go, next step. So now it's probing the points. So on some different models of printers, you have to level the bed manually. And this model, it's got some auto leveling. So it checks the bed for anything that's off level and will make its adjustments for it in your your coding. Again, if uh, I say something wrong at any time, please feel free to point it out. I'd love to uh, keep learning more and, you know, we all make our mistakes. That's what seems to be so great about this community that I've seen so far is everyone is really nice and a lot of open source. Everyone seems to just want to help each other. All right, a few more probe points to do. And now our nozzle is heating up. So again, like before, you'll see down here in the corner, our nozzle is heating up right there. So on this current print, I've got the nozzle set to 230. You know, various different filaments like to be at different temperatures. Here we go. It's doing its wipe. So the nozzle's clean. And there it goes. I'll get you a better view here. Stand by for third part. All right. It's off. Welcome back to part three of the print itself. Got a little bit on the go here already. Zoom in a little bit. Actually, see the the extruder going as it's doing its base layer. So generally, I like to sit and watch the first layer or two go down to make sure it's going to go and stick to the bed good. Sometimes with poor bed adhesion, it can ruin your whole print and if you walk away for that first little crucial bit, you, know, you don't want to come back and see it all over the place. Let's see if I can get a closer view of this. Don't mind that. Poor camera work here. I'm getting new to this myself. I'm curious if you can get a better or worse view. It's better far. Again, anyone who has motion sickness or anything, this may not be for you. So feel free to have your puke buckets ready. quite like the sound myself, soothing. And on that, enjoy the print. So I'm going to do two different versions of this. I'm going to leave one where it's just printing. And the next one, I will see if I can get better at the time lapse. Enjoy the show.
All right, welcome back to part five. The unplating, I guess. So you can see the finished product of our hammerhead shark. You can see it's got the supports in between. You can print it without supports, but I wanted to do this one with some supports so I can do some removal of them after. Now for a really satisfying portion to remove it. Yes slowly carefully pop it from the plate and there we have it there's our printed hammerhead and you can see the little supports in there which I'll be removing later <laughs> 